been talking a lot in this 30 day project me about the different health types, about the different ways that each one of us on the planet is showing up in our lives. So every single person, every single body on the planet has a really cool purpose and not everyone knows what that is, which is a bit of a shame and more and more people are finding out every single day what that is. So it's really excited to be a, exciting to be a part of that, about personalized health, about actually assisting people to find out what their natural genus is, to find out why their body does what it does, to find out what disease there has been in some people's body and then rectifying that. So a lot of the conversations we've been having about personalized health has revolved around the foods that we eat, which is super cool, super important, um, but there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more individuality that actually comes through personalized health. That would be really cool to talk about today, and it's mainly going to be on the topic of crusaders because I am a crusader. If you don't know what health type you are, I'll um, put a comment in the a link in the comments. So just find the link, and then you guys can find it out for free. It's like a three minute quiz. It's pretty fun to do online. Uh, Angie has just asked me. For parents with a little crusader, how was I as a kid? Oh, great question. Okay. Uh, hmm. uh, me as a kid, I asked a lot of questions and they generally were why. Why questions. So I wanted to know why things were built the way they were built. I wonder why people did what they did. Like, why, 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 why? And it was so annoying when someone didn't actually answer my question because I knew there was a reason why they did it. But then what I later realized through later parts in, you know, my development, I'm just going to clean my camera because it's really fucking good, is um, I figured out that people actually don't know why they do what they do. And so that fascinated me even more. So I'd, as a kid, yeah, you too, Angie, that's awesome because Angie's an activator. So that's super interesting because... We're super curious people. And there's actually a few things tendency wise, because obviously we've got six main categories in personalized health. They're just categories to assist our minds to compartmentalize and explain to us what's actually going on at an epigenetic level. So with Angie and I, we've actually got a lot of similar tendencies that actually come down to our genius. So there's 360 numbers on the wheel that help to classify um, how minds work, but then it goes even deeper than that. And there's like tiny little strands that we each individually have that, where, that actually makes every single person on the planet totally unique because every single person on the planet has a different combo of all these different traits and things that are available within our human species. So it's super, super, super interesting. So awesome question, Angie. And me as, a, me as a kid crusader was definitely about asking the why questions. And then, yeah, curiosity, massive curiosity. Oh, another question. Love it. What could my parents have done to support me as a crusader and how curious and other ways that I was, other ways that I was curious and how could they have supported me as a crusader? Whoa. Answer my questions. Now, Google was not around when I was a kid. I know that's kind of now showing how old I am. Oh, how young I am. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, Cam. And um, literally when I was a kid, it would have been nice for rather than getting the response of just because or because to actually get the truth. So as a kid crusader, it would have been really nice for my parents to just go, hey, hey, for my kids to just go, oh, uh, my parents to just say, oh, I'm actually not too sure about the answer about that. However, how about we go to the library, we look up an encyclopedia, which yes, that's what we did, um, or to invent Dr. Google in the backyard. But these days, like I would definitely say to parents with kids, uh, kids with parents, <laughs> parents with kids, both ones, is to actually answer the kids' questions and answer as honestly as you can. If you don't know the answer, do not lie to them. Crusaders have a really amazing BS meter and they will know. So <laughs> do not do that. Other ways that I behave. Yeah, yes, and I still have a good BS meter. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> and a huge heart, totally. A crusader asked me yesterday if they could eat a vegan diet. What is important for me nutritionally? As a crusader and for my current health conditions, it's not great to uh, go vegan. I used to do vegan a few years ago. Um, and people on this side of the wheel, where I am, on that side of the wheel, it's not so great for us to have a no protein diet or a very uh, vegan based only diet. Um, Cam, Dr. Cam at Your Genius can actually assist a lot more with that and his team there. We have 
just we're not built to be vegan unfortunately i tried it and i just did not do very well on it like the brain fog the fatigue the not being able to do like anything more than just plain like plain basic yoga um oh, love you big heart too erin and literally not being able to function in a continual steady mind intense job it was more like i felt flaky almost like as a being and Yes, I'll get to that, Cam. That's awesome. I love it. Thanks for contributing, Cam. Um, because literally my digestive system wasn't working properly. And what Dr. Cam has said straight from the horse's mouth in Australian personalized health, he's got the way we eat protein is important. It needs to be digestible, which is so true. Like my protein, the, whether it's from meat or it's from, uh, it's mainly from meat that I get it from, like meat or seafood at the moment that I get it from, that it needs to be part digested. In that way, it would be like a slow cooked lamb or a like a stew or something that has actually taken a while to cook the food so that by the time it gets to my mouth, it's already started to be broken down. So then it's easier for my digestion. Meaning like why? Because <laughs> I love answering these questions. Why is because mineral and uh, mineral absorption specifically, but like mineral vitamin vitamin absorbency of our insides doesn't work as well so therefore if it's already partly digested meat then we our systems our physical systems get to digest it well which is awesome and sometimes a small break from protein can be a good reset but not a long-term thing correct so at the moment i'm here in mexico doing detox retreats and assisting people with their detoxes and we had a crusader here only a couple of weeks ago and the crusader detox is two days of non-consecutive days of low protein and low fat so that's 50 grams of protein and only 20 grams of fat in the whole day and that's only two days out of a week non-consecutive so that's actually what is specific for my body as a crusader about what i shouldn't and should eat on a detox day so it's so interesting how like my body actually needs a break in a very different way to another body so for example a guardian who's on the other side of the wheel and the health type in personalized health they actually need to go on broths like vegetable only broths for two the 10 days to 14 days straight so different if i tried to do that i think i'd probably pass out after maybe day three maybe earlier because my body just wouldn't be able to handle it i if i don't eat carbs like my brain just does not function i love it here we go and cam's dropped in and he said our brain is super busy he's a fellow crusader love that guy so it shuts our digestive system off correct because we're like Doo -doo 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 -doo. our little computer brain big computer brain and then digestive system just goes hey buddy you need to go into parasympathetic nervous system you need to calm down you need to get into the zone so i can actually digest because oftentimes we're in more of a fight and fight fight or flight response which is our mental capacities are like so amazing however that doesn't allow a lot of blood and circulation and all the good stuff to go towards our digestion so he has suggested separate heavy work with food. Need to keep them separate. Will help maximize our slightly weaker digestion. So true. The days for a crusader to have a really hearty breakfast. Oh my God, the satisfaction I get from that. To actually have like my proteins and good like dense carbs with regards to maybe like sweet potato with some egg and maybe some greens on the side or something like that. Those days I function so much better. Like I know this morning I was, I was just a little bit lenient with myself and I had mainly pawpaw or papaya, how some people say it. And I had like some hemp seeds and some nuts, like some pistachios. And I had another fruit in there somewhere, but it just wasn't dense enough it wasn't hearty enough for me to be sustained so only a couple hours later or an hour and a half later I had to have like a decent meal and that was fish and um, veggies chopped up veggies and greens so way better our brains need it otherwise there's like tension that we tend to get in the back of the head it's just it's not so fun so thank you so much Cam it's true go look after our digestive system because it's linked straight to our head what's and you got here what do I need? What do you do fitness wise? Do you like group activities or more personal goals? What kind of exercise is good for the crusader? Boom! Angie is on fire with the questions. How cool is that? Okay, so for crusaders, we actually require two 
not do competition. So when we are like 12 week challenges and competing with others, not so fun. They can try, but they generally won't get the satisfaction and the dopamine rush, which is what they're actually seeking or what we seek as crusaders. Even if you know it or not, dopamine is your dominant hormone. And if you don't actually get to get that do that dopamine hit, then it's not as satisfying and there's not as much oomph, yes, achieved type feeling to it. So for crusaders, it's really important for us to actually do fitness to our own goals. So for example, with me at the moment, I'm doing a self challenge and that is to run. I've got like a spot here in Mexico that I'm aiming for. I go out in like really safe area, don't worry mum, and then come all the way back and I, I measure myself. So I'm timing it on my phone, do, got a stopwatch, smashed it by minute 10 the other day, so pumped it myself. So that's literally how we do our own fitness, is it's to, our, it's to ourselves. It's to make sure like it's not against other people, it's about ourselves. And then actual like the specifics of fitness is running to like a metronome beat of 120 BPM is perfect. So that actually allows our mind to get out of sympathetic nervous system, chill, start to go into parasympathetic, you're moving from beta waves to theta to alpha, and you're changing the whole system of what your body's actually doing by going into that rhythmic motion. Crusaders are also known as horses. So imagine like riding a horse. Do -dum, do -dum. Oh, so good. That is how we chill. That and then also um, lightweight, light, lightweight, low rep. Yeah, so that's our fitness jam. Hey Zoe, what's up? Hey Will, hey Daniela. Oh, socially, good question from Angie. She is on fire. Socially, what do the people closest to me need to understand about the Crusader? Oh, to help prepare them for relationships with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, just as I get a message from one of my clients, genius. <laughs> okay, um, so my future person, what do they need to know about me? Um, they need to know that it's okay that I'm focused. They need to know that when I'm in the zone, of completing something to let me complete it and not just try and distract me or tell me about a story that is just for the sake of telling me a story. My future partner will definitely be someone who speaks with purpose and can speak uh, can speak my language. A lot of my, my life is about um, is about speaking others languages and it's really super cool when someone speaks my language and we can just converse in that way so uh, that's really cool for them to know that, oh, this is like kind of awkward, Angie. Um, <laughs> way to make a girl cringe and blush all at the same time. So my future partner would need to know that me as a crusader needs to be getting up early and going to bed fairly early. So we're talking anywhere between like 5.30, 6.30 in the morning and going to bed around 9.30, 10 ish at night and I would be always following my passion. My passion and my purpose will come first, and sorry but not sorry, but you will come possibly around fifth in the line-ish, because there's changing the future of humanity that comes, uh, and I have a very big purpose for the, my life this time, so my curiosity will always be driving me, and my purpose will always be driving me. I have a lot of missions that I'm fulfilling this lifetime, so those are really important to me. And I will always be exploring the insides of my mind, and expanding my mind, and evolving myself, and evolving those around me. So they come around next in the priority list, so... Uh, it, like I would like, like my partner would be self-evolving and evolving themselves and evolving, evolving around their life, like the people around in their lives. So yeah, I would say that they would need to be like purpose focused as well and hopefully <laughs> running on a horse alongside me because otherwise we could be definitely on purposeful planet on the other side of the planet. So um, yeah, that's probably a bit of a nutshell. There's probably a lot more, but we'll start with that. Thanks. Oh, good question, Ange. So good answer, Mars. And understanding our inner language is super important. It's so super important. Yes, Daniela. Like the mind chatter of a crusader that does not have their drive and purpose on point, knowing where they're headed, 
is ridiculous. So the crusader mind can act a little bit like a diplomat but like untamed in that their mind can just go round and round in circles like ugh, like doubt fears any sort of um like shame or guilt can creep in there too but mainly the doubt like oh is that quite right and like no like not getting my answers like i'm not getting the answers to my questions and like oh should i do it shouldn't i do it should i do it shouldn't i do it that is a crusader that's unbalanced and when a crusader gets into their balance, they are much more driven, much more focused, like ready, here I come, get the hell out of my way because this is happening. And I say it with love and yeah, it's it's amazing the difference. Like even in the last few years of going from like, what's my purpose? What am I going to do with my life? To going like, yeah, I'm here to change humanity and let's actually do this. Let's roll up our sleeves and get it done is a very, very different energy, different feeling. So knowing the inner language is super, super important. Working long hours are actually enjoyable to me and not to be laid with the workaholic. Exactly! Yes, Angie! So literally, crusaders out there, it is okay that you want to work on your stuff because it actually doesn't feel like work. As long as there's not someone else trying to interrupt you all the time, you will actually love what you do and that is okay. Your focus time generally, like for a general crusader across the board, like is generally all day and all night. So it's okay if you want to work all day and all night because it's actually natural for you. It is not natural for all health types. Some health types should only be working a few hours a day and then the rest of their day they're better off connecting with people and having chats and connecting and sharing. So crusaders, we do it different and that's okay. So if you're a crusader, it's okay to be you. <laughs> Sounds like I want a crusader as my future partner. I have been thinking that, Daniela. Like, I've, I have been thinking that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we can talk about that offline. <laughs> that was my next question. Your best daily schedule that puts me in flow. Yes, that is how I get in flow. To be able to function at my best, to be my most productive and efficient, and to be powering through what I'm here to power through on the planet, being in my daily flow and following my genius to a T, allows me to in the morning like seven till nine is my productivity and planning time then i get into like my quick accomplish get that dopamine rush early in the morning time then it goes into focus then i need to start doing organizational things moving into collaboration time between 11 and 1 and then i in like in the afternoon i have like three different versions of focuses whether it's like get out of my way the next couple of hours i just got to focus on this task that's very repetitive or focusing on a task that really needs me to like strategize and think about how all the different ways and how we can make it happen visionary stuff and then i've got creative time late at night which is like 8 till 9 p.m so all day every day working i'm okay I'm okay with that, especially when it's something fun. Like this week we presented with Facebook, like life is pretty freaking awesome. So uh, no complaints here. Like there's always cool stuff. Clint Morgan. Hey, Clint Morgan. Are you online? Cool beans. Thanks for joining. Uh, great job, Mars. Super informative. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Angie. Thanks for the questions. Ah, thanks. Thanks for being so open about Crusader Self. You're welcome, Daniela. Anytime. I am happy to ask, ask and answer any particular questions you guys have. Life of a Crusader is like got so many parts and pieces to it. As you know, this is just my version as well, my perspective of being a crusader. And I'm sure if we chatted to another one, it would be slightly different again. My priorities in life will obviously change. So priorities are very important with a crusader because like, everything is a priority list. My to-do list, I think I counted the other day, is 36 pages long. So at the moment, it's a matter of prioritizing them up and down, up and down. So my life at the moment, those five things I listed earlier are the current priorities in my life. However, you know, in a few years time, maybe I've got kids or things like that, like things actually move. Priorities are flexible and they'll change and move up and down, up and down. So that is where I'm at with my crusaderness at the moment. So thank you so much for everyone's questions. And just saying crusaders do have big hearts. It shows up different than other people. I know 36 pages long and I actually think I added to it today. I haven't subtracted from it in a couple of days, so I've got to get on to that so literally other other health types are more about the oh let me hug you and it's gonna be okay and like oh, i'm just gonna hug you until they make you feel better and like mama bear hugs and and like that is awesome and sometimes people want that and some people want like the logical rational thinking side of things and that's generally where i come in so if you want like a uh 
curious and asking question person to assist you to be enlightened in your own life, then that's generally a crusader or a sensor that can ask you those logical, rational questions to assist you to get through some talk therapy and like flip a mindset. Um, and then crusaders care. Crusaders still have massive hearts and give massive hugs as well. Uh, we just do it different. So, and that's okay because every single person on the planet is different and every single health type is different. So love who you are, own who you are, and I'm not really here to tell you what to do. So I'm going to go love myself and own who I am self. So yeah, I got a scoop, but keep it up. Love these videos. Oh, I love you, Danielle. Cool. Love you too, Angie. Love everybody. Have an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. And lots and lots and lots of hugs and kisses and love in the Crusader way. And peace out, homies. <laughs> See ya.